performance tonight and ability to just once again carry the team. To- you, you run out of adjectives to describe Steph's play. Um, he's uh, he's just amazing night after night. He's in such great shape. You know, I think um, if there's if there's one area where he's dramatically better now than when I first got here, you know, eight years ago is, uh, it's just his, his strength and conditioning. Um, he's, he's much bigger and stronger, um, much more capable of, uh, defending at a really high level and sustaining two-way basketball, um, you know, for an entire game and, and just knocking down shots from all over and finishing at the rim. Um, he's, he's unbelievable. Is this as good a stretch as you can remember from him? Just like closing games, you know, like when you guys need it down the stretch, just pure as a score going it's, to get. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to to even remember, um, and and to compare because he's just been so good for so long. Um, so you know, if I said this is the best he's been, you know, Raymond would bring up some eight game stretch he had last year and the year before that, and the year before that, and. So he's he's always been brilliant. Um, but I think given the circumstances with our team, you know, kind of in a rut, trying to dig our way out of out of a hole, um, he's he's just been spectacular and and um never been better, I can say that. Steve, was this a good night for uh Jordan Poole? Seemed to seem to find a rhythm out there tonight. Yeah, yeah, it was uh you know, it, you knew it was going to happen. I mean, Jordan is a, a proven uh, player, helped us win a title last year. He's uh, he's done this now uh, plenty of times. So it was just a matter of time for him to to break out, uh, just like it's a matter of time for Clay to get it going as well. But what I liked about tonight was just the competitive level for everybody. Um, and I think that's the key. You know, when you're struggling, you just have to compete as a team and and. You know, it may not be pretty, but you you just dig it out, and um, everybody's competing, and we 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 competed in a smarter fashion uh, tonight. Um, not as much fouling, um, you know, not much transition. Um, we took away their their easy stuff. We made them work, and um, and I think that's you know when you when you just lock in on that individually and as a team, then you know stuff just sort of plays out and so you knew Jordan would get going. What else did you kind of like about your nine man rotation tonight? About your nine man rotation tonight? I thought Lamb gave us great minutes. You know, he's uh he, he does a lot of things well out there. Uh he's got a uh, you know quick release on his three and and sets good screens and and moves the ball. Uh that was good to have Dante back. Um you know we um we obviously uh haven't gone deep into the rotation the last couple of games. But, um, you know, in my experience, when, when you're in a little bit of a, a hole, like we've been, you, you, you dig your way out and then the game gets a little easier. You know, it's, uh, it seems really hard when things are going poorly, you know, everything is difficult. And then once you compete your way out of it, uh, the game smooths out and, as that happens, I think we'll be able to uh, to go deeper into our rotation and guys will get more comfortable and confident. It was clear you guys were upset by some of the fouls, maybe especially in the fourth quarter. How did you see your guys push through that frustration so the game didn't spiral into something else? Yeah, um, we we talked about it. We, you know, we, we talked in the huddle um, with 15 seconds left. We all knew that um, – that that play that we challenged would not be reversed, despite the fact that everybody saw that it wasn't a foul. Um, we knew it wouldn't be reversed. It's just the way it is. I can't wait to see the uh, last two minute report uh, reporting on the review of the play itself. And uh, it, you know, the, the, it's just tough. It's, it's you got to play through everything out there, and um, especially when you're struggling. You know, it just you you got to you got to fight through the adversity and. Whether it's uh, you know a tough call or injury or or poor play, you just you just keep going, and that's what our guys are doing. With with a lot of Clay's missed shots, they're coming up maybe a foot or so short, and I was just wondering if you had any thought on why that is. Is or is he still getting his legs back underneath him, or why is his missed shots are just coming up short? And yeah, most of them are short. The vast majority of his misses are short right now, and that usually just uh, points to the legs and. Um, 
So he's, uh, was, you know, he's he's been working hard and you know, obviously got a slow start to camp and it's affecting him. Um, but uh, he's getting his legs underneath him. I thought his defense was fantastic um, down the stretch. He did a great job on uh, Donovan Mitchell. And uh, it's just just a matter of time for Clay before everything comes together. Steve, a couple key plays by Wiggins there, sort of midway through the fourth quarter to get you guys charging. What what did he show energy wise? Yeah, there? Wiggs was good. Uh, you know, made made it a uh, couple of steals and uh, got got to some loose balls. And um, and you know, he's always a great secondary scorer for us. He just seems to you know find his way to eighteen or twenty points every night. And uh, I, again, I thought it was a team defense overall, and uh, that that made the difference tonight. And and Wiggs is a huge part of that. All right, thank you.